Guys, I'm really happy to say this, but I think the iPad Mini 6 is the most exciting iPad of the year. Mini LED M1 chip, nah, come on, too expensive. The iPad is an iPad and it's never gonna be more than that. <laughs> And because of that, we should probably focus on making the iPad more of a value product, not so much a $2,000 laptop replacement that can't be a laptop. Except on the subject of 2-in-1s, it sounds like the iPad Mini 6 may be rocking a smart connector. Let's begin. So this leak came out of left field for me because I always thought iPad mini doesn't really need a smart connector. It's so small, it's so portable, it's really meant for a lot of one-handed use. In fact, even when you're in landscape mode on an iPad mini, you can type just with your thumbs. And I've always liked that form factor. I don't think smaller necessarily means it's bad and there's a market for it. It's just the iPad mini has always felt very neglected. It's never got the love and attention that the iPad Air or iPad Pro has received. But I think that's because Apple sees a lot more money to be made with those larger iPads because they can upsell people on more accessories, particularly smart keyboard accessories like the Smartfolio keyboard as well as the Magic Keyboard now. So that little smart connector I don't think costs too much for Apple to add, but they're able to upsell you on those additional accessories. And the iPad mini, other than a smart cover here and there, or just recently the Apple Pencil, and I say recently, I mean like over two years ago, that was the last time they refreshed the iPad mini, but that was the first time they could actually upsell you on another iPad mini accessory, which was a $100 pencil. But now the rumors are saying they're switching to USB-C, so I don't think it's going to be at least Apple Pencil 1 anymore. And now this latest leak from John Prosser is suggesting that a smart connector will be on the back for smart connector style accessories, but no one wants to talk about what those accessories will be, so I will. I'll simplify this for everybody, okay? Smart connector means smart keyboard. I don't know what kind of weird, wacky iPad iPad mini battery case you guys were trying to envision, but pretty much the only use to come of the smart connector ever since Apple started shipping smart connectors on iPads is so that you could easily dock it to a keyboard case without having to go through Bluetooth and without having to charge the case. And the weirdest part about this for me is the fact that the iPad mini is pretty dang small. And there have been third parties out there that have developed iPad mini keyboard cases, but I don't know if you guys have ever tried them. They're tiny. The keys are are physically much smaller than typical keys we use on keyboards, even substantially smaller than the 11-inch iPad Pro or iPad Air keyboard, which I already thought was pretty cramped, you know, especially when you start seeing the shift and enter keys get to the same size of your letter keys. It starts to look like a much more compromised experience, and on top of that, all of these third-party iPad mini keyboards are so small and the keys have to be shrunk down so much, there's definitely no room for a trackpad, and as far as I can see, no one on the market has attempted to make an iPad mini keyboard with keys and a trackpad. They could technically do it now that iPad OS has mouse support, but I think there's a reason no accessory maker out there was like, let's turn the iPad mini into a two-in-one laptop slash tablet and somehow try to fit a tiny, tiny trackpad onto this accessory. So I'm really hoping Apple is not attempting to make some type of magic keyboard mini because it's already super expensive at $300. If they made one for the iPad mini, maybe it would be like $250, but that's for like a $500 iPad already. I'm assuming because the gap between the mini and the Air has almost always been 100 bucks that the iPad mini 6 is going to be about $499. It would be incredible if they got it lower, but still, a $250 keyboard case for your $500 iPad that quickly turns this into like a 8.5 inch laptop. And trust me, the typing experience on that is going to be fairly crammed, and I almost think it's impossible for them to add a trackpad. There might be some trickery they can do with origami, but I already felt like the trackpad was pretty dang small on the pre-existing Magic Keyboard cases, so if they go even smaller than that, it's gonna look like the touchpads on the Steam Deck that just came out. <laughs> Basically good for your thumb, and that's about it. But given iPads are getting bigger and bigger now, you know, the budget iPad's over 10 inches, iPad Air is basically 11 inches, iPad Pro's 11 and almost 13 inches, it kind of makes sense for the iPad Mini to go bigger as well. 
so maybe the screen size will actually be closer to nine inches than eight and maybe they'll find a way to squish the keys in there so that you can actually have somewhat of a typing experience not a good one but you'll have one and the other possibility that I think is far more likely is perhaps Apple is just planning on making a smart keyboard case but not a magic keyboard case boy Apple's naming it just makes so much sense doesn't it but essentially what I'm saying is they could be making a keyboard accessory for the iPad mini 6 that does not have a trackpad and the magic keyboard cases will just be restricted to the larger sizes and if someone buys you know a tiny nine inch tablet and they just so happen to want a physical keyboard they'll be able to do that but you won't be able to do the mouse support unless of course you want to buy a detached mouse like you know that sounds like a great setup for a lot of us how about an eight and a half inch display miniaturized keyboard in a $100 magic mouse there's your productivity workflow at least it has USB-C but yeah personally it makes such little sense to me that I would not be shocked if this leak ends up being incorrect and when the iPad mini 6 comes out it actually doesn't have a smart connector this feels like a small detail that maybe Apple was toying around with it but then once they start prototyping accessories they go oh my god this is a terrible idea why would we ever attempt this so again makes total sense to me if this ends up getting scrapped entirely but I'd also be very curious if there's some kind of other smart connector accessories out there that we don't know of I'm also still very curious about if this new iPad mini is going to support the Apple Pencil 2 because the length of the entire Apple Pencil 2 is pretty close to the length of an iPad mini so trying to dock that to the side probably going to make it a little bit awkward but maybe that's where the sources are getting confused someone said that there is a smart connector and what they actually meant was the Apple Pencil magnetically attaches to the side and that's like a smart accessory and they weren't actually referring to the three pins on the back that could be a little bit of confusion that would explain this distorted leak to me but I'm curious if any of you out there would actually be the type of person to want to get like a laptop setup that's sub nine inches I used to play around with those netbooks back in the day with these really really small laptops and man typing on them was annoying and using a screen that tiny was not ideal so is there a market of you out there that would be spending that kind of money on a keyboard case feel free to let me know this is your Apple Sheep here I'll see you guys in the next one